Because some people, they have really well tailored shirts, but other people, like me, buy a lot of shirts and they look a little billowy in them. So today we're going to fix that problem. We're with Tess Poe. She's the owner of Beehive Sewing in Northampton. So Tess, how about you tell us what we need for this project and I'm going to go change because I can assure you that nobody at home wants to see that. <laughs> Perfect. So we'll be right back. Terrific. This is a very easy project. This is great to do, especially for men who have billowy shirts. We're going to need a gauge, which is going to help us take some measurements inside of the shirt. Certainly, we're going to need some pins because we don't want to be sewing our fabric unless we've got it pinned down. We're also going to need either a pencil, a regular pencil that we use every day, or a charcoal pencil. Or maybe if you've got some tailor's chalk at home, you'll want to be able to mark up the shirt and where you're actually going to be putting the new row of stitches. And then lastly, we're going to need some sewing scissors. What you'll notice about these sewing scissors is that they do say that they're just for fabric. So if you have a pair of sewing scissors at home, make sure you use them. If you're left-handed, you might want a pair of left-handed scissors. So our gauge, our pins, something to mark our fabric, and then our scissors to cut. And that's all we need. So Tess, I'm back, I have the shirt, and I brought a portable sewing machine. Terrific. So we're good to go. So we button the shirt, and we determine that we want to take in about an inch on either side, right? That's right, and one of the ways that we check that is by having you put the shirt back on inside out. That's a really quick sort of seamstress way of having you try something on and to be able to pin it and measure it without having to kind of guess or uh, flip it inside out afterwards. So if we look at the side of Seth's shirt here, I have a couple of pins in here. And now that area is right here because we're taking it out right on the both arm. sides. Exactly. And so now we've got our basic pins in here and we're going to grab our gauge that we talked about before. Okay, so this is the gauge. And we're going to double check our one inch measurements. Okay, so here we go. There's one. And then and we're going to use our tailor's chalk. Now, this is a, a very uh, lovely but brightly multicolored shirt. It's intricate. So it's going to be a little tricky for us to see some of these tailor's chalks, <laughs> red or yellow. I'm not sure what's going to be best. We'll just use all. We'll <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. I'll, I'll make it bold. And the best part is, a lot of times when you're doing this work, it's the inside of a shirt, so you don't notice these things anyways. That's right. And as you get up towards the underarm, we're actually going to be blending that line so it meets up with the underarm. So in other words, we're going we're gonna to taper it in so that it meets up with this, so it doesn't look That's funny. That's right, because okay? we don't want to actually take out the sleeve, recut the shirt. You know, this is called more like quick tailoring, and so we, we don't want to have to do that. So now you can kind of see we've got our chalk marks on here, and what we're going to do is put our pins in our shirt perpendicular to that line, and so that is very similar to what we do when we're sewing on the machine in a regular project where we've got raw edges of fabric and, and we've got our pins perpendicular. Now Tess, I know that you always tell me is when you're approaching a pin on the sewing machine, you want to take the pin out. That's right. See, certainly, I'm not going to lie, there are times when I sew over a pin. But I'll tell my one bad story of sewing over a pin. I bent the pin, I broke a needle, and a piece of the needle flew up and hit me in the face. And it was like that Christmas story movie. I shot my eye out, and I <laughs> and I try to never do that anymore See? because it isn't worth the risk to your machine, to yourself. Um, it's just as easy for you to take the pin out while you're doing it. So, um, so now we are all nicely pinned. We're gonna put the shirt in the machine just like this. This is different from in regular sewing projects where we have our fabric already pre-cut. In this kind of a project. We're going to put the row of stitching in and have you try the shirt on again before we cut away the excess fabric. Uh -huh. All right. Many times folks come in here and they start making jeans into skinny jeans or you know, taking in their clothing, taking in their shirts. And if they haven't quite properly measured and they cut their fabric in advance, you can end up in a sticky situation with something <laughs> that no longer fits. Where your jeans are a little too skinny. Exactly. So we're going to use a regular seam length stitch. So we're just going to use a straight stitch that's about two and a half millimeters. Okay. And why don't you go ahead and do this sewing. Sure. Okay, here we go. And now this machine doesn't have any speed control because it's a mechanical machine. So that needle is going to go as fast as Whoa. you are stepping on Probably the pedal. step a little bit slower then. Oh, I didn't take the pin out, you Tess. You did not take the pin out. I'll take I this pin out. That. Here we go. And maybe I'll give you a hand here. So you don't want to pull on the fabric. Really, you just want to let the machine do its job, taking the fabric away from you, feeding it through the machine. Scale of 1 to 10, how difficult would you say this sewing project is? This is probably a 3. 
and it's a three plus. It's a three if you've got someone who maybe can help put the pins in your shirt when you put it on. Sometimes can be tricky to pin your own clothing um, you know, when you're trying to tailor it. So this is where you're gonna start tapering okay. that row of stitches right to the corner here. Oh, watch your finger. Oh. And now if you pause for a sec, what we're gonna do because you want to be able to wear this shirt safely, comfortably. And through gonna, the wash. And through the wash. We're gonna reinforce that stitch. So you're gonna go ahead and press down on this lever, which is our reverse button, and when you step on the pedal, the fabric's gonna come towards us. Great, yeah. and let go of that pedal and go forward again. Terrific. And, and now- do I go off the fabric? You'll go right off the fabric. Perfect. There we go. And now we're just gonna lift up our presser foot, pull out our work, and run it over our thread cutter. After we learned how to do one half of the shirt, I left it to the professional. I let Tess finish up the shirt while I got ready to try it on. Well, Tess, we did it. Look at this. Wonderful. It's like a brand new shirt, and you can save so much money by tailoring your own clothing. And you look like a new man. Thank you very much. It's, it's true. Yeah, <laughs> you, can, you can really look good, and you can have a cheap shirt, but if you tailor right. it nicely, it can look like a very expensive shirt. And if you want exactly. to learn how to do this for yourself, all you need to do is go to mymassappeal.com later today.